is happening this week on CNET's Crave Wall. The Agonos arm, which CNET translated using Google Translate, is a robotic looking arm that clamps onto your desk and gives you a helping hand with resting your face and head on your desk while you work. The arm is extendable and the wrist is adjustable for optimal head and chin support, and the hand is made of a squishy material that will easily mold to your facial contours. The product comes to us from the Thanko store in Japan and costs about 40 US dollars. Unfortunately for everyone, it is currently sold out because it was such a popular product. An eight second video clip of a person pushing a can of Coke with a marker has gone viral for obvious reasons. The video is called Coke Baca and features a can of Coke being pushed with Chewbacca's likeness printed on the side. And I'm guilty of watching it three times. The Lampster lamp modeled after classic car design, tractor headlights, and superhero confidence has taken Kickstarter by storm. The Lampster is simply a lamp with attitude and a few bells and whistles. Lampster is equipped with two LED light sources that you can control with either your hands or a smartphone app. One lamp is for reading and the other is an RGB for changing the mood in your space or for dance party lighting effects. The head is adjustable and can double as a headphone holder. The Lampster comes in a few different color options with optional graphic extras and can be yours for the pledge price of $149 on Kickstarter. NASA released a video this week celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory launch, otherwise known as SOHO, that has had its 12 sun-gazing instruments trained on the centerpiece of our solar system for many years. SOHO has brought scientists and astronomers a wealth of knowledge about the sun, and the video tries to showcase some of those discoveries. The video shows the sun's corona as seen through SOHO's coronagraph, which blocks out the brightest light of the sun. In the video, we see small UFO-like J.J. Abrams lens flares surrounding the sun. These are actually the planets orbiting the sun over time, and because they are so bright, they cause the coronagraph to view them as flying saucer-like shapes moving about the sun. Make sure you watch the entire NASA video embedded in the Crave blog post. Guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the limited edition Blu-ray versions of all six Star Wars films. You can have all six. Go to the blog and enter to win. Who are you? And what are you doing in this Wookiee house? Happy Life Day. She says it may be a happy life day for you, but personally, she's seen happier ones. You mean they haven't arrived yet? That Imperial Patrol must be giving them more trouble than we bargained for. Why don't we think of taking you home for life day is going to be easy? We started a search operation. It's just a matter of time before we find the rebels. I want the rebels located and identified. If it means searching every household in the system.